Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. Eight rounds, light heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. He's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. He's making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Able to dismiss that body shot. Watch that. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. That is a strong uppercut there. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. More head movement. Nice defensive guard there. Get out the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Carries the punch, puts one in there. And clicks of the talk. Big uppercut right on the mark. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 
75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. Gets rid of that body shot. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Nice! And now he's targeting upstairs. Halfway through round number two. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. How about that left hand? Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Left to the body. Able to land the jab. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. His punches are... Oh, what a left hand. Big shot there. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off in his head. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Focus now. Uh, oh, we need water up there, that's it. You don't need that. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor okay, ordered. That's a better go. prescription for him. That just missed. <laughs> he 
he scores with the left. Comes right back with some offense of his own. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, now. Halfway through this round. No. Solid uppercut. Distance is such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot in. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not fighting nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Yeah, like Just so I you see. touch something. And then you can I work see. your way in. You can start to find them a little. Yeah, baby. Good work. Good work. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough nice, to know nice. that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Plus shot, the left hand came in. And round three comes to an end. Go out and fight these guys. Stick it to these guys. You have to go out and get these guys. Nice and relaxed. Good job. Now this is what I need you to do. Keep shooting that jab to his chest. His hands will drop, then follow with the power shot. Keep this guy off balance with that power shot. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Able to land with the right. Big, big shot he just scored with. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fight is over. A knockout. Unable to beat the count of ten. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it it was a good one indeed and for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time at the fights